because if they come into the atmosphere they are pretty much good as dead so what we do need oh no there's the habitation ring do we want to add that yet there's a hub connector there interesting power distribution unit machinery plant Kerbitat. Um, should we bring those up later? Should we add, go to docking ports at this point and then add the rest of that stuff later? I think. Do something like this. And when I have docking ports on the ends, keep it simple. Where's the docking ports gone? There they are. Um, I tell you what, we'll have a shielded one there. And a standard one there. Oops. There we go. It's a bit of a for aerodynamics, but never mind. Um, I think I think that's about. Oh yes, communication. Yes, thank you for that. Good idea. Communication is always a good idea. Uh, what do we have? They've got 90 million meters. They've got 50 millimeter, million meters. Hello, HHD7R. Welcome, welcome. Um, unshielded solar panels. Uh, you think we should use the shielded ones? We could do, we could do. Um, yeah, we could do. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, communications, that's got 50, they've got 90. Um, where would we want to attach these? Not there, probably. We can put them, we could put them on here, or we could put them on here where they're slightly shielded. Like so. That works, doesn't it? There's lights for Morse code <laughs> communication. Yeah, yeah, Morse code. Who needs more than Morse code? Um, so we can use those. I mean, we couldn't use those if, even if this was unmanned. I don't know if we're going to have this... Um, Are we going to have it unmanned or are we going to take it up manned? Let's sort out those solar panels and we'll go with these ones. So they're a bit safer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like that Morse code. The Morse code. Uh, the Morse code method. Um, anything else we need? Anything else we need? I don't think so. Let's have some flags though. Where's our two and a half meter curved flags? Here we go. They fit absolutely perfectly. Look at that. Uh, 
if you want to see your own flag on uh, on one of our missions or indeed have a craft or a kerbal named after it head over to our patreon page patreon.com slash elitopia and you will be able to donate and at the right tier you'll be able to get your own flag put in one on one of our satellites or even on a station on one of our missions um that's rather big and bulky isn't it um put a capsule on the top docking port i mean up here somewhere like that i can't open this can i rename port I don't want to rename it. Um, I would have to switch that, which I can do. It. Actually, if I'm going to put something on top of it, I would have to do that. And then pod on it like that. But that would need some way of getting home again. So that will also need um, I wonder if we can do it with RCS and the monopropellant engine where's the RCS if we stick RCS on there and that capsule would the monopropellant engines be sufficient to bring it back into the atmosphere? Assuming that we have this thing at like 100 to 150 um, kilometers, what do you reckon? Gonna need a parachute, whatever we do, and it's probably going to need a decoupler. Like so. I'll tell you what, we can find out, can't we? If we stick a decoupler on there and like that, the Kerbal engineer should be able to tell us. Ah, it won't tell us because it's RCS. Need a second docking port there to actually. I don't believe you do actually. I think you can. I think you can undock just like that and just say detach node from that, can't you? Multi spectral scanner while you're in it if you plan on deploying it within 500 kilometers. A multi spectral scanner, but that's only going to be equatorial though. It's going to be an equatorial station. Mind you, I suppose it means we can check the science with. EVAs while we're on the equator, can't we? I will add an extra docking port just to uh, avoid any possible mishap. I'm more worried about whether or not that will be sufficient monopropellant fuel to bring it home. Um... What about if we if we do that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do without that docking port. We can just do it like that. Helps with our aerodynamics too. Um, Do I need to actually attach the Kerbal Engineer to get accurate data from this? Uh, maybe that is what it is. No? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Oops. Ah, come on. Stack the coupler there. You there. Right, let's... Ah, that'll be why. No, still not going to give me... Still not going to give me the information I want. Well, ain't that a kick in the head? 
It'll only give it to me if it's attached like that. I believe that's 365 metres a second. That would be enough. Oh, my God, that's got all that arse here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I'm not doing Delta V calculations live. It should be enough. This should be enough. We'll see. We'll see. Um... We still didn't take the barometer readings, so let's put a barometer, a thermometer on there. Um, mystery goo, blah de blah, not too worried about that. Problem is stage zero is the station module, not the capsule. Yeah, that's, that is the problem, isn't it? Um, oh well, not, not much I can do about that. So, um, there is our station and the return probe for whoever takes it up there for us. Um, so now we need a launch stage. I'll tell you what we'll do though, is we'll add a couple of struts in up here. Just to be safe. There we go. Um, now, these always end up wobbly for me as well, so, um, where's the, did we have, we had a, like an interstage, thing, There we go, 2.5 metre interstage. What's the point of that? Okay, what is the point of that? I had assumed that it was some way to improve your aerodynamics, but Clearly I'm wrong. So, let's go for something like that. Um, and then we are looking at fuel. So, this is going to take a lot of pushing so let's go for that's 600 let's go for the main sale for this one 2570 that's not bad actually it's not bad on its own um, let's get some struts in there do I have a mod with a wench uh, well, considering a wench is like a, a slave woman, um, I don't think I do. However, if you mean a winch, um, then I'm assuming you're referring to the Kerbal Attachment System, which sadly I do not have. There we go. Some struts to keep that happy. Don't know if that's... Um... One point eight seven thrust to weight ratio. So can, does that mean I can add more? Let's see how ridiculous we can make this. One point two five thrust to weight ratio. Still, with a massive tank like that, that's pretty impressive. Um, however, we don't have a an. We don't have a stage to actually put it in orbit, do we? Um, which normally would be this one. I wonder if... I wonder, I wonder if we make this into the transfer stage as well. 
as the return stage. So from that, we where are we? What am I doing? Decoupler. Decoupler. Ah, I've got to build it backwards, haven't I? Okay. Okay. Propulsion. Let's get some big fuel tanks. Big fuel. Like that. Then... Not aerodynamic, they're structural. Another one of those. With... A decoupler on it. Put that there. Um, that's not going to be enough fuel, though, is it? See, I was thinking if I do. No, they're solid boosters. They're solid fuel, aren't they? Erm, 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 erm. Of course, they hold fuel, don't they? That one doesn't, though, does it? Ooh, that's big. That's big, too. That's better. That's got fuel in it. Awesome, awesome. Um, so we need some radial engines, something like these. Pulling design seems to work way better for heavy loads. I struggled a lot with that when designing my MKS delivery rocket, pushing 50 tons of wobbly payload into orbit. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to build here with fuel to pull it into into position more struts yeah i probably do need more struts here now um can i get a delta v reading on that Eight hundred and ninety seven eight hundred and ninety seven meters a second. Ah, except they don't fire at the right point. Let's bring those back down here. What's that? Oh that's down there, okay. So that's those. Couple. Looking for a more carrying inside my ships. You're looking for a right. You've got um, what's it called? Universal storage. Um, where is that? I think it's in utility. Yeah, here we go. You build a thing like this. And then you have storage bays you can attach to it. Whoops, it's not working. It's not attaching, but yeah, you can attach little storage bays to it. Um, and then you've got the, not that one, the larger one. And you can attach bays to that. And it comes with monopropellant bays. Hang on, there we go. A monopropellant bay comes with a fuel tank bay. Um, it's quite a lot of cool stuff in there. So you can have a look at that. Or you can look at cargo bays from things like B9 and Space Plane Plus. Um, but that's the one that I use. Uh, universal storage. Um, 
I don't know whether that Delta V is going to be enough to pull this thing into orbit, but we're about to find out because I, I can't be bothered to. It's taking far too long to build this thing. So, um, so that thrust to weight ratio is suddenly 0.37 because I've added all that extra weight up there. So, take that off, put that on. 0.54, okay, it went, oh, it did go up, it did go up. Oh, mind you, where's the engine? It's right up there, no wonder it's struggling. That's more like it, 1.64. Um, so yeah, we can put more fuel on. Um, One point one four is a little bit low, but we can augment that with some solid boosters. Some very pretty looking solid bo solid boosters. Um, however, they don't have decouplers on them, do they? So let's get some decouplers on there. Some of these ones. There we go. And we can move them down. Looks, almost looks like a real rocket, doesn't it? Um, so let's put those. Goodness me, what is all this staging issues going on? Put those down there. Down there. There we go. So, in fact, if I put that there, what do we get? 1.44 on stage 5, fine. 1.14 on that stage, which should be fine providing we get up high enough. Um, however, let's not risk it. Let's put a slightly less fuel on there. Just slightly. They're prettier. One point one one. Oh, that's not fair. Um, one point three one. That's better. I put those on the wrong way around though, didn't I? There we go, 1.31 on that stage. One point five six. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I can do that. We're at 104,000, so this has to launch. This has to be successful, because we're only going to get one shot at this. And then we'll be out of funds, and we'll have to be doing some contracts. Detach that, fire that, scrap that, don't need that. Then that will detach. Those four will fire up there. We haven't really got quite enough Delta V, have we? Um, more boosters. Four eight. Four eight is enough, providing we get an efficient launch. Um, we use 
use the R8 winglets this time for stabilising. Um, struts, more struts. I don't know if this is going to work. It's very, very marginal with the uh, the Delta V. You can tweak, tweak scale those winglets too. Bigger is always better. That's true. Doink. Yeah, I didn't think about that. There we go. That works for me. Zoom out. So what do we think? Is that cutting it too fine? Or is it just about right? I am happy about the next update. I'm always happy about new updates for uh, for Kerbal Space Program. I'm looking forward to the new administration building that they are adding. I'm also looking, for, looking forward to some improvements to the 64-bit version because this was very much a uh, preliminary 64-bit release and it's not particularly stable. Uh, it wasn't today the interview with Max Maps where he revealed all the new features. Yeah, there was um, there was an article floating around about that. It's only just about held on there, but there we go. So, we launch with the solid boosters. They detach and we switch to the mainsail engine. Then that will decouple and we can switch to these four up here to pull it into position. Then hopefully we will be in position. It says there is a an incompatible mod. What does that? Oh, oh, is that your um, your crashing issue? Um. Right. Can anybody before I take this out to the launch pad? Can anybody see anything that I have missed on this? I'm going to give this a name. This is going to be the Twitch station since none of our Patreon supporters have uh, given us any names for our station yet. Um, I will take the multispectral sensor that I was asked to take. I will only take one multispectral sensor. Where should I put it? I'll put it up here. No. Tell you what, I'll put it on here like this. Like that. That'll do. Um, did we actually accept the contracts? Did we accept the contracts? I'm going to save the Twitch station and see what contracts there were that we were supposed to have accepted. There was one of, oh no, the one for the science in space disappeared, didn't it? We have taken some lights. Not many, but we have taken some. Yeah, we can always have more struts. We can always have more struts, but is there any functional things that I've forgotten? Oh, 
Right, aerial survey, flag on moon, position satellite, science data. Oh, look, science data from space. Oh, around Minmus, okay. Uh, creature comforts, position satellite, rescue lod bore, test small gear bay on a suborbital trajectory. 77 to 82,000 meters. I could do that. Don't really want to. It's 34,000 in funds and 34 science, though, so I'm accepting that. <laughs> Small gear bay on suborbital. Okay. The puller transfer stage is great, but the thrust ve are the thrust vectors pointing at anything? May want to double check that. No, I don't think they are. I'll check that in a second. I think the fire fire spitter is incompatible with space plane plus no i'm using fire spitter and space plane plus oh no i'm not using the whole of fire spitter actually i'm just using the api version of it um performing experiment on escape trajectory don't really fancy that hydraulic detachment manifold on an escape trajectory 41 science for that i'm not on an escape trajectory but Man, that will be a good contract. Uh, I'm going to close for now. Uh, we took the small gear bay one. Electrics check, comms check, SS check, RCS check, last support check, docking ports for expansion check. Yep, seems uh, seems like we've got everything. Let's attach that gear bay to our I don't know our return stage, I suppose. Don't really want to leave it on the space station once it's uh, once it's done. And we're going to do that at 77,000, between 77,000 and 85,000, I think it said, didn't it? Um, so let's go for, where is that? That's in utility. Where is it? Small gear bay. Can I tweak scale it down? Yes, I can. Good. There we go. Whoops. Start not deployed. Tell you what, just to even it out, we'll bring two with us so it doesn't affect our aerodynamics or anything. Um, okay, so there we go. Thrust vectoring looks good there. Enough delta V to actually make stable orbit. We're about to find out. Yes, we are about to find out whether or not we have enough. To make a stable orbit, 127,000 funds to find out who's coming with us. Bill, Bob, Lodo, and Gus Dan. Um, no. Let's go for Bill in the command pod and Lodo and Gus Dan in the station. save out to the launch pad Please don't take me. I haven't taken you. Okay. How is everybody doing? It's a little bit wobbly, but I think we're okay. Jeb, I believe, is um, on sabbatical somewhere on the moon <laughs> um, probe core might be worth a thought to allow unmanned operation for whatever reason meh not too fast there's not really much it can do anyway so okay so let's have a look at what Gus Dan and Lodo can see this is the uh, the science lab that they're in they have some controls in there by the looks of things. Um, and Bill is quite happy in his pod. Let's have our SAS on. 
let's have our throttle at not zero, 100 percent. And I think let's hide that stupid thing that keeps appearing. Why is that staying on? There we go. Um, so suborbital trajectory 77 to 82,000 meters. Here we go, guys. Let's see if this works. Yikes, that's powerful. Oh dear, that's far too powerful. That is not a 1.4 thrust to weight ratio or whatever it was. So we're going to get some atmospheric interference. Which means we're probably not going to be able to turn very well. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not good. Let's control that. Let's see if we can control that. Oh dear. Oh. 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 Spin round. Stop propelling me towards the floor. Okay, okay, whoa, okay, hang on. Come on, come on, come on. Let me click it, let me click it. There we go. Decouple node. Oof. Parachute. Parachute didn't deploy. No, it's not good. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right. I don't know why the parachute didn't deploy. But we are down three Kerbals. Um... That was not what I had in mind. This is indeed why we set abort action groups. I did it with the last one and didn't need it. <sighs> Four Kerbals down in one live stream. That is an issue. I have 44,000 funds, which is not enough for another attempt at that launch. So we are at some point going to have to take on some other missions. Which might be the aerial surveys there. 
Um, we possibly could have an unmanned mission. Um, with an escape trajectory. That's 8,000 funds. What was the aerial mm -hmm. survey? That's, that's quite a few funds there, the aerial survey. Uh, position a satellite. See, that's a lot of funds too. That's a lot of funds around the moon. Science data around the moon, that's doable. Right, so we do have the possibility of recovering. Um, we have 44,000 funds, plus whatever advances we get for the jobs that we take on. So it is possible for us to recover from this and continue this space program. However, we are going to have to pick that up next week because it's just about midnight and uh, coffee from the uh, KSP TV guys is going to be going live soon and I don't like streaming the same time as him. I will probably host him from my channel for a while if you want to stick around and watch him. Um, but... That's, that's going to be about it for this week. So... Thank you for watching guys if you haven't hit the follow button already please don't forget to uh, to do that you might also want to check out the youtube channel over at uh, youtube.com slash um this will be going on there if you're watching this on youtube hi um and well there you go i will see you next time guys thank you for watching i've been el bristo this has been elatopia gaming see you next time see you later